Good evening. It is August 6th, 2020. It is Thursday. I hope everybody had a good week. Um, we had some bad storms the past couple of days. I took down some trees here on my street. I uh, hope everybody survived the storms and weathered it out. Everybody uh, made out okay with it. Hope everybody had a good week. For me, my wife, we had a good week. I want to go over what makes the church out of the Bible. For the body is one and has many members, but all the members of the one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one spirit. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. If the foot sa should say, because I am not a hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing, where would there be hearing? If the whole, if the whole were hearing, where would the, 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 be, the smell, the smelling? But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? But now, indeed, there are many members, yet one body. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need for you. No much rather those members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary and those members of the body which we think is to be less honorable on these we bestow greater honor and our unparticipable parts have greater modesty but the presentable parts have no need, but God composed the body, having given greater honor to the part which lacks it, that there should be no sexism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, you are the body of Christ and the members individually. And God has appointed these in the church, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, after that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps of administration, and varieties of tongues. 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 28. That's the bodies of the church. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over the over you in the Lord 
uh, an ambition you and to esteem them very highly in love for their works sake be at peace among yourselves first Thessalonians 5 12 and 13 that's we're all bodies of the church doesn't we don't need a building to be in we just need the bodies we need to be there just as your foot your hand it's all part of the body we're all part of Christ Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ is good. Now I have some prayers and he, for healing, strength, and faith. Um, pray for Bob or Barb and Rick for the loss of Barb's mother. So pray for the strength and you know, for their loss. Uh, pray for Suzanne for her loss, her son. So pray for them. Uh, pray for those who are affected by the storms that we had the other day. Again, we had trees come down. People are still without power from the Thursday, Tuesday storm that came up the East Coast. And as far as I know, it's in Maine now, so it's still doing some destruction. So uh, to pray for uh, Luana, Zach, Kim, Kelly, Geraldine, Ann, Ralph, Carmen, Pat. Pray for Kevin, Rick and Barb, Mary Ann, Raymond, Janet, Bonnie, Ed. Pray for Stacy, Mary Ann, Mike, Chris, Dave, John, Margie, Vinny, Sabrina, and Leslie. So pray for those that need the strength. Pray for those who need saved. And pray for those that are homeless, that they get straightened out and find themselves a home. Continue praying for our military, our law enforcement, uh, firefighters, EMTs, doctors, and nurses, uh, defenders and protectors. Pray for the Templars, pastors, ministers, and chaplains, and evangelists that teach the Word of God. Or the, today, the world we live in, it's crucifying Christians. So we're, by closing our churches and arresting those that open their churches, so keep praying for the, the, the church in one general. Pray for the rapture and revival. Now, pray for the Bridge Church and Pastor Jacob, the uh, church leaders and the uh, Bridge Church members. Uh, pray for healing, pray for our nation, pray for our world, for revival and rapture to come. You know, you've got to be saved. It can happen. Snap of your finger. You're going to be raptured. Christ is coming. Christ could take you any day. You've got to be saved in the Lord, in the Word of God. Pray for my family. Pray for my ministry. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any prayer requests, put them down in the bottom. I also add my email address to my site so you can put prayer requests in, send them to me, and I'll have a prayer for you. Um, powers in prayer. Remember your battle plan. Pray, fight, and trust. It's not over till God says it's over. Keep fighting till your victory is won. God bless and have a great evening.